Hello everyone and welcome back to the Amateur Baker. Welcome to day 11 of Baker Day in February. Um, this one I am very, very nervous about because um, we're making honeycomb, which is also known as cinder toffee, which is actually really simple to make. You only need three ingredients. You only need sugar, golden syrup and um, bicarbonate of soda. You can't use like baking powder or baking soda because it won't work as well. It needs that reaction from the bicarbonate of soda. So it is actually really easy to make, but it is also really easy to mess up. So I have a recipe here from Gemma's Bigger Boulder Baking. I've printed it out. And there's only like three steps. So when I say it's easy, I mean it is really, really easy. But I am the most nervous about it because I know that it could just go so wrong. So I've got the biggest saucepan that I own and in it there is um, four tablespoons of golden syrup and 100 grams of sugar. I've used granulated sugar because I hope that uh, with using a finer sugar it won't come out like grainy or anything like that. And I've also lined um, a baking tray which I'm conveniently trying to keep down with tiny bottles of hot sauce. I'm like mildly stressed already because this could just go horribly wrong and I could end up getting it everywhere and then I'll have to clean it up and it'll be the worst mixture to clean up ever. So what I'm going to start by doing is heating the um, sugar and golden syrup together. It needs to melt and then apparently it needs to turn to goo. So I'm going to put it on a really low heat on the right ring. And we're just going to take our time doing this because I feel like if I just try rush it and get everything melted and then get the um, syrup mixture to like a really thick consistency, if I just try and get that done as soon as possible, something will go wrong. So we're going to take a deep breath and we're going to take our time. I don't know if I should stir it. It just says place the pot on the heat with the sugar and golden syrup and let the mixture first melt. I think there's paper in there. I feel like it should be stirred otherwise it's just going to burn. I've got a whisk here ready, just in case, because it says that you need to whisk it when you put the bicarbonate of soda in. So I've got a whisk ready, and I've got a spatula ready. I may have done it in a pan that's too big, although I'm just so nervous, because like this is a lot of bicarbonate of soda that I need to put in. It's one and a half teaspoons. I just know, because I've made honeycomb before, I know that when you put that in, it puffs up instantly. It's such a quick process. I think the low heat is working to our advantage. We can keep an eye on it. So now we just need to wait for it to go to goo. I don't really know what that means, if I'm completely honest. Something smells like it's on fire. Okay, I think we'll just leave that for a second. Golden syrup cooking smells really good. Thinking about it, golden syrup is just made from sugar, right? Oh, it's gone very dark though. Okay, I'm going to switch to my whisk. I think it's burning. Should we just go for it? Shall we just go for it? It's still... It says the colour of maple syrup and it's that colour. It's gone a very, very dark brown. Prepared with your whisk and spatula. What, in both hands? I'm nervous now. Okay, okay. We're gonna go for it. We're going for it. This is what we're working with. Oh, it's not quick enough. I panicked. That's all right, we can save this. Oh, actually, oh, oh, we might be. It's just so sticky. That has not worked, has it? Do we just, should we do it again? It's too, I don't know if I've got enough sugar. That's not what it's supposed to look like. We're gonna try it again. And we're gonna use a smaller pan and a smaller tin. Because I'm just, I'm sure it's just not meant to look like that at all. And I want it to work, okay? Look at this. Realised that I was probably faffing around too much with um, the cameras and shit, so we're just gonna go for 
this angle from the off. So I've got a smaller saucepan, a smaller tin, smaller hob, and I'm going to start whisking from the off so I can keep an eye on it properly. Um, before it was bubbling a lot and I couldn't really see what was going on. Maybe honeycomb isn't as easy as I thought it was to make. And maybe we should just leave it to the professionals at Dairy Milk who make the crunchy bars. Seems to be melting all right. Okay, it's combining. I'm gonna leave it for a second to see if I can get it to melt a bit more. That looks pretty melted to me and it seems to have thickened. Let's see if I can get a seems to have thickened. I don't understand what it means to go to a boo. That confuses me, but it's thickened. So I'm gonna see that then maybe that's what it means and then it says to turn the heat up a little bit to medium and then this is where it needs to go to the colour of maple syrup I haven't set a timer but I'm watching the clock on the microwave three minutes okay it's been three minutes I'm just going for it I'm going for it speed oh yeah yeah that's what we want this handle is way too hot burning myself oh that oh. bigger pan for this. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Put it on a tray, put it on a tray. I'm sweating. That was so stressful. I got the majority of it out of the pan. It did start to smell very quickly like it was burning. And this is now what we're dealing with, which is what should have happened. I feel like this here is a bit of baking soda that didn't mix. That's gonna drip. The pan is hot. Oh, right, leave until set cold and then break up into shards. It will look like aerated set honey. I'm just gonna leave it to set. It's absolutely boiling at the moment. There is a lot of bubbles going on. They might like sink, pop. It might not end up looking the way that I want it to look, but I'm a lot happier with how the second one turned out. It's very warm in here, so I'm gonna open a window, which will hopefully um, dry out some of the air because it is very hot and humid and sugary in here. I don't know how long it's going to take for this to set. I'll check back in once it's done that. I'll let you know how long it's taken to set as well and we will go from there. It's been a while. The honeycomb actually set in about an hour. Like fully I could take the paper off it. Um, it just still ended up being like really sticky on the bottom. I have tried a bit because when I took it out of the tin a bit of it had got stuck so as I pulled it out like it kind of broke off and I tried the scraps and it tastes really really good. It doesn't taste quite like um, you know a traditional crunchy bar, it, it, you can definitely tell that it's like homemade honeycomb. It like sank in the middle. I'm assuming it's fine because like it's still holding its shape. It just looks like a very poorly made bowl that hasn't been decorated very well. I'm not gonna count it as a fail. I think this has actually turned out really well. And what I'm planning on doing, which I might do either later on, or maybe uh, tomorrow, I don't know. I will probably coat it in chocolate. To be honest, I am very glad with how it's turned out. Given the amount of stress it took to get at least one, one bit of honeycomb, I'm glad, I'm glad. So that is it for this video. I'm very happy. I'm glad with how it's turned out. I'm going to class this one as a win. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe so that you can see the other videos that I have made and uh, all the upcoming videos as well for the rest of February. Check out the playlist if there's any that you have missed and I will see you in the next one. Good.